<laughs> Hello, but this is not a spring chicken. Yesterday we were talking about, well, games, computers, and how the software will drive what you're going to select for consumer electronics. This is nowhere more evident than in the console wars. Yes, console, for those of you that aren't quite sure what I'm talking about, Sony, PS3, Microsoft, Xbox, Nintendo Wii. Ah, yes, they call that console wars. And you thought that that console war, or the battle, remember the, the HD DVD in the Sony Blu-ray? Mm-hmm. Well, it didn't, or maybe this was just a continuation of that one, right? Because remember, Microsoft was behind, because the Xbox, they were behind the HD. And ever since the HD DVD went away, the high def, which was supported by Toshiba, um, Microsoft has said that it will not put, put Blu-ray into its consoles. But what it has been doing is it's putting movies into it. Now here's the part that I'm still not quite certain about is that Sony PS3, what were the statistics from EMA? It's like the, the, the buyers of Okay. They only, the but people that buy game consoles movies. will buy one and a half movies. movies a year, but they didn't say they played them on the machine. They said they will purchase one and a half movies a year. The trick, the, the you know, like it's in the details. The, oh yes, the trick is in the details because they of course were including the PS3 counts for the Blu-ray box counts. So they were not counting the Microsoft. It's HD basically it has to do with counts. what can be played on the console. And they say that if they ask a console buyer how many Blu-rays have you you know bought, they take that as statistic, but they they don't tell you how many they play on their unit, which is basically zero. Ah, so here's the trick. Now is everybody is getting into movies. Although the movies are trying to get more into games because after Grand Theft Auto had such a spectacular, <laughs> I mean, what, half a billion dollars? Yeah, well, Grand Theft Auto actually came from a movie with uh, Ron Howard. It did? That was oh, Ron God. Howard. One, uh, Ron, okay, if I remember right, That was, Ron Howard did Grand Theft Auto the movie so he could get to direct another movie. And then... Uh, we should be seeing that movie out again. And then I think the gentleman that did the trans... The Transformers? Transport, no, that did the Transporter okay. and did Crank did another Grand Theft Auto. Oh, and then there was, uh, I think, Grand, uh, Nicholas Cage Grand Theft Auto in 60 Seconds. Um, Gone in 60 Seconds. Gone in 60 Seconds was basically another Grand Theft that, Auto, Gone in 60 Seconds. Nicholas Cage and Nicholas Angela Cage, Jolie, yep. That was a fun movie. So it's, okay, not because I'm thinking of stealing cars, but it was just a fun movie. And well, and just lots of like cars being bashed around. People like that. That's why the A-Team was so popular. Oh, it's so why the Blues Brothers movie did so great. I mean, hundreds of cars crunched. Well, people, people love cars. And so... Now, they're bringing that, you know, as the games, well, every, here's what's going on with the gaming market, is they are expecting with the price of fuel and people having fewer dollars that people are going to stay home and play games more often. And although they're saying that 63% of Americans have video games at home, they also talk about, now there's, ah, but the, Once again, the devil's in the details again. How many of those games come with the computer that you already have? Well, see, that's the trick about the gaming market is because there's different sections. There's heavy, you know, heavy gamers. There's casual gamers, which actually is the, the majority. Big part, the majority of the market. Yeah. And when we're talking casual gamers, we're talking about people using it on their cell phones. They got it on PC. They, you know, they're playing solitaire on their PC. Yeah. They kill time. They kill. They kill time. You just trying to do something. That's the casual gamer market. But they're expecting from everything that I'm seeing is that the console game is it the, they're expecting it to heat up more with the Okay, console game. basically of the okay, it works it is the biggest part of the software market is is gaming. The biggest yeah, part. So you're seeing all of them merge and so the console wars are are the is heating up and it's not because Xbox was trying to cool it because of their fans or PS3 lost so much money on their Blu-ray. It's always been a big, no, okay. they, a um, big war. They don't. I mean, uh, Sony is going to, uh, Sony in order to get people into Blu-ray is going to start subsidizing the losses on um, software. Oh, now see that's different because Xbox was subsidizing their Xbox consoles losing $100 when they first came out. But nowhere had I heard yeah. that they were subsidizing the games. That I read this morning that the, you know, the, the material put out that that's, in order to get people to buy more software, 
that is Blu-ray oriented, they're going to subsidize Blu-ray. It actually was not on new titles, older titles. Oh, interesting. You know, older titles to get people to, you know, because they, they got, okay, they, let's put it this way. Blu-ray hasn't been selling, and they made a lot of stuff over the last three years that people haven't bought. Well, and they want to sell it. They want to move it, so they're going <laughs> they to subsidize the cost of software. That includes DVDs to play on the machinery. Maybe it's time to get a PS3 player. Yeah. Well, you know, part of it is is that I I don't know about you, but once I start playing those games, I almost you want to get better, you want to get a better score, you want to get well, a better it's, score. Well, it's human nature. And then you keep playing and you keep playing, and then five hours later, six hours later, it's like, wow. It's like internet gambling. Oh, no it, it, wonder. That's right. No, but uh, yeah, but here's some of the games, the hot games that are coming out. For example, here's the things um, for PS3. There's a new God of War game. Yeah. Which is always big. Oh, Sony's Virtual World, which is called Little Big Planet. I'm sure they got some ideas from Second Life on that one. There's a vast looking, massive action game named Mag. And there's a couple of promising superhero games. And there's a mu massively multi multiplayer title based on the DC superhero universe. Yeah. And there's a, a Dark Knight movie and I think a Mummy movie. I mean, oh, a, doc, a Dark Knight video game and a mummy video game coming for Sony? out. Yeah, for uh, for 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 software. I'm not certain which is coming. Well, actually it'd probably be for Sony, considering the companies are locked in with Sony mm. you know, like this, so I think they're probably PS3 games. Well you know, part of it is the movies are wrapped up into the movies um, I mean with the games like Matrix. It came out with the Matrix movie, the Matrix game, um, plus many other titles that have done that. And, and James Bond movies are all doing it. Uh, okay, Indiana Jones had a big you know, game. I, it probably helps in the success of the movie. Of course, it's all part of that licensing. Yeah, it's anyway. basically, it's how you can afford to make a movie at a loss. Oh, you mean like the last James Bond movie where, I'm sure they did it, but they had all these endorsements. Yeah. So, so it's how they do it. It's just like the money's the, not made purely off the box. It's office. ancillary sales, which includes software. So Microsoft's roster is Gears of War 2 and Fable 2, and the reports are that it's looking a little bit tired, and they think that, you know, Sony's really got the major win on this. We, well, was rather, it sounds like everybody was rather disappointed about what Nintendo was coming out with. But Nintendo, Nintendo thinks plans to go more to music, which is what yesterday the young lady was talking about with Best Buy. That's right, because Nintendo was talking about, with, oh, Wii Music, right? Wii Music. They said you can play about 60 instruments with the yeah. Wii Music. Well, they aren't the only ones, because when I, yesterday I'd mentioned when I was speaking with the people at Best Buy, they were renovating a few of the Best Buys down here in Southern California to compete with Guitar Center, which surprised me, because anywhere near Guitar Center, but they said the profit, profitability is higher. Yeah, okay. Well, every time you go into a Best Buy, you see kids playing guitars and kids playing drums. Well, and that's all based on from Rock's um, Guitar Hero and they've Guitar got, Hero and Rockstar. Band. And now they've got the thing out with uh, Steven Tyler, too. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a new rock star, I think. Ah, now Guitar Hero and Rockstar were created by the the, the two individuals we met them, um, we actually had, were able to interview them, and they were, oh, we'd have to pull it up. They were giving us hints on how to play the game. Oh, better. yeah, I remember both oh. of them. They were nice. They were telling us, you know, they thought it was neat that, you know, nerds could get an award. Oh, that's that's right. <laughs> actually, we're going to have to pull that video from the archives. Yeah, pull so. Pull it up so you can see that one, too. But for N Nintendo, they're saying it's all about value, which Nintendo, it always has been. But, wow. I mean, Nintendo is more oriented to family, family gaming. Yeah, family gaming with the, the sports. I think they said over 60 sports, 60 music. I mean... It's, the, it's basically so you can have all your friends and your family to play music together now, too. Uh, but for now, that's it on gaming, E3, console wars, etc. So for now, this is not a spring chick. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow.